So what is an ad group in Google Ads? Well, I'll explain so that you can kind of get a sense of how this works and be able to utilize ad groups more effectively in your own Google Ads account and really just get better results from your Google Ads campaigns. So initially, I'm going to select a campaign up here just so that we can then go to the campaign section and click on ad groups. That's going to show the ad groups for this campaign that we're looking at right here. And you'll notice that each ad group is kind of similar but slightly different, like Phoenix Closets, Custom Closets, Closet Installation. And this is really just a copy of this same ad group. Uh, but with ad groups, the idea is you have your Google Ads account. This is just a little graphic from WordStream here that's kind of help us visualize this a little bit better. So in your Google Ads account, you might have more than one campaign. And then in each campaign, you can have multiple ad groups. Underneath each ad group, you'll have a set of keywords and ads. And this is powerful because that allows you to create ad groups where you're targeting keywords that are very specific, and then you have ads that talk about that very specific thing. So what I mean by that is for the let's say custom closets ad group, right? The keyword that we would use, so I'm just under keywords here and I've selected the ad group from this campaign. Um, we would target something like Phoenix custom closets, right? And then the ads will talk about how we, we can do custom closets in Phoenix, right? Hire us today, et cetera, et cetera. Whereas like the Phoenix closets ad group could just talk about Phoenix Closets, um, this is actually kind of mixed up. There's a whole bunch of different types of terms like closet installation and stuff in this ad group. So this is typically how people set it up. They just have one campaign with one ad group and they put all their keywords in there. I would not recommend doing this. Instead, you want to try to break things apart. So like our example here, there's like Phoenix Closets, Custom Closets, Closet Installation, closet products, like all the variations of closet related terms in a niche can be broken up into different ad groups, which then allow us to serve ads that are very specifically tailored to whatever the person is searching for. The reason why this is so important is because Google really cares a lot about user experience. And if you are showing people an ad that's very closely related to the keyword that they searched for, they're going to feel like they found what they're looking for. They're going to click your ad and probably reach out to you because you're talking about the exact thing that they have a pain point around and they need a solution for. And so that's providing a good user experience. Whereas if you have only one ad group with a whole bunch of keywords, like we were showing here, and your ad copy just says, you know, like we do we do closets in Phoenix, call us today. But they're looking for, you know, closet installation or closet builders or something very specific and your ad isn't that relevant, then it's not going to get very many clicks. When people click on it, they're not going to feel like they found what they're looking for. And so then they're going to have to go back, click on a different ad or even an organic search result. And they're going to have to keep going back and forth, back and forth to find the answers they're looking for. And that is what Google would deem as a poor user experience. So a good user experience is when people find what they're looking for in like one or two clicks, and then they're able to just be done searching on Google. And Google makes a majority of its revenue from the ads on Google. And so they want people to have a good user experience so that they keep coming back, clicking on more ads, which will ultimately generate more revenue for Google ads. Right? So that's kind of the growth strategy, and it's worked really well for them. It's made them the best search engine in the world up to this point. And so you just want to play by that game and make sure that your ad groups are highly refined and relevant so that you're providing a solid user experience to the people clicking on your ads, which will then decrease the cost per click. So you'll pay less money to Google Ads to get clicks. And 
it's likely to convert at a higher rate because everything's congruent and people feel like they found what they're looking for. So ultimately, that's going to be the best strategy in order to get you, uh, you know, maximum results from the money that you're investing in your Google Ads account. So I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of what ad groups are, how to use them, etc., don't hesitate to reach out. Just drop your questions in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here. And really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.